This is the seventh stop on the Blue Trail, A Dog's Life. You are now at the train station. The location of the station was once Whitehall Farm, and the land and the buildings on it were owned by John Mayall. In a very smart business move, he sold the land to the railway company, as well as lending them the £1,600 asking price and charging them 5% interest over the three years of repayment. The station opened in 1849, after years of hard work to cut through the huge rocks, especially the long tunnel at Scout Green on the approach to Mosley. The remains of a water well, once used for drinking water, can be found on the Huddersfield platform and provide a touching reminder of the rural nature of Mosley before the railway was built. The town was transformed by the arrival of the railway, but some Mosley people had never seen a steam engine before, and all the screeching and hissing noises and clouds of steam must have been a real shock and quite frightening for them. To reassure people that the railway was safe, the station building was deliberately designed to look almost church-like in appearance. But it took off in quite a spectacular way, bringing many new visitors to the town. The railway connection also gave the Mayall brothers unrivalled access to Manchester and Liverpool. The imported cotton was brought in from Liverpool docks, and the finished products were then taken by rail to many destinations. This provided the foundation for a vast mill industry, which saw Mosley's population grow from 1,500 people in 1841 to 14,000 in 1867. This is the last stop on the Blue Trail. To enjoy more of Mosley's heritage, please follow one of the other four trails when you can. And we'd love to see you at Mosley Heritage Centre, which you are very close to now. If you look across from the station, you will see the Aurora Bar. Walk down the cobbles of Queen Street and the Heritage Centre is in the corner of the Emmaus Building Courtyard. You will always receive a warm welcome.